What do we have for Leo? Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy at the foundation of the reading. Leo, the messages that I've been picking up for you have everything to do with this Ace of Swords. You're preparing to enter into a new timeline where everything that once created resistance in your life, you are now going to wear with a badge of honor and push forward in that direction. Now, what I mean by this is, if you're somebody who's recently dealt with a lot of heartache, pain, quite possibly divorces, breakups, all things relating to love, creating a lot of sorrow and restriction in your life, you are now going to open up to love and become the epitome of love. If you've had people tell you that you can't do something in your life because it's not for you, maybe you've had people tell you that you're too old, too young, whatever it may be, you are now going to allow yourself to be used by the divine to become the exception, become the example that provides inspiration to others to also push forward in that direction. There's a lot of get up and go behind your energy right now, Leo. Those times of feeling down in the dumps or feeling like the universe has been working against you are now over. And what's so interesting is this is aligning perfectly with us coming out of this 29 degrees in Capricorn energy. This is what this is all about. It's like you had to stew in this energy for a little while, gather as much wisdom as possible. Make sure you learned the lessons that came with those cycles. Some of you felt like you were never going to get out of this energy. And that's exactly what this astrological transit makes you feel in your own individual lives. Wants to make sure that you've learned all the lessons you needed to learn, Leo. And now pushing forward, you're going to start transforming all these areas of your life where this restriction has been unfolding. What do we have at the sacral? What do we have at the sacral, please? Too many cards. What do we have at the sacral, please? Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy at the sacral. This is going along with everything we're picking up here. This is an energy of you now breaking free of some sort of karmic cycle, some sort of restriction in your life. You're starting to see now that the way you make this right in your life is by pushing through it, right? What I said about the example of becoming the epitome of love. I just heard against all odds. That's really what this energy is here. See, what you're also starting to realize is that when you allow these cycles from your past to hold you back in this present day, you're essentially still allowing that energy into your life. A person, for example, that put you through a lot of pain, you are allowing to still take your power from you in the here and now, even though they may not be in your life anymore. This residual energy just loitering around, still having its way with you. This is what you're starting to realize now. And that realization can be quite harsh to know that somebody can still affect you to this capacity from afar. This is not something that you're going to allow to continue pushing forward. See, the Seven of Swords, it's somebody sneaking away, right? But in reverse, this is you seeing it now. You've caught them energetically speaking, you're seeing now how these cycles of the past are affecting you in present day. May as well still have these energies still in your life. That statement alone usually has the power to snap people out of it. I know it did for me when I first heard that. Your understanding of how this energy is still lingering around inside your auric field, Leo, is you coming to the conclusion that if you allow it to still affect you, this is you really being your own worst enemy. You're only letting yourself down. It's like this switch goes off and you realize that you need to love and nurture yourself more than ever. This is when you come into alignment with yourself. It's like when your higher self locates that inner child and finally begins the healing process. See, the way our lives are constructed, it's almost as if we become our own worst enemies. We have a tendency to beat ourselves up 
we're way too hard on ourselves, which creates this disconnect from within. This is what you're starting to realize now, Leo, that you need to start being there for yourself because no one else is going to be until you are. It's like the saying, well, how can you love another until you truly know what love is? Same thing goes here, Leo. How could you expect somebody to be there for you until you've been there for yourself. You know, the way we go about our everyday lives is all mirrored back to us by the universe. We program our own reality based off of the way we move. So, in saying all of that, when you start being there for yourself and loving on yourself, you project that out into the universe, your reality, and then the universe reflects that back to you by the individual's that they now bring into your life, which gives you a whole new sense of self-worth and you start to have a better understanding of what love really is. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Oh, wow. The hangman, Pisces energy at the solar plexus. Further reiterating what I just said, there's an energy here of understanding that you've been self-sacrificing based off of other individuals' treatment towards you. This is what you're having this new perspective over now. There's also an energy here that is telling us that these karmic cycles you're graduating on from made you a victim. And although that may be the case, it's very dangerous to allow yourself to stay in that space. Because not only have these energies now made you a victim, but you're accepting it by victimizing yourself. So in other words, it's you allowing these individuals to define you based off of their treatment towards you, which speaks on what I was saying earlier on in the reading about this residual energy hanging around you and you having this understanding that these energies of the past are holding you back in the here and now. This is a wake-up call going out to the Leo Collective. No matter what any of these individuals have done to you, no matter how extreme it may have been, do not allow them to turn you into a victim because that's exactly where they want you. A lot of you have already had this realization. See, there's two kinds of victims. There's the victims that stew in it, they don't do anything about it, and they allow the treatment towards them to define them. And then there's the victims who actually do something about it, which usually comes in the form of self-empowerment, taking those lessons as wisdom and discernment moving forward and making sure it never happens again. What do we have at the heart, please? Six of Swords, Aquarius energy at the heart. I feel like I got a similar energy in either the Libra or Capricorn reading. The Six of Swords came out. But as you can see here, there you are. You're moving on from something. You're traveling somewhere else, so to speak. And then it's like this is your inner child, right? With you. There's been this kind of healing this union of self you're taking all of these parts with you and you're moving forward not allowing any of these energies to have power over you this is an energy of you moving beyond any sort of pain it's a rite of passage kind of energy and this ace of swords see this is this realization of all of this this is that energy of get up and go you just wake up and you're like, you know what? I'm ready for what's next. I'm not going to allow any of this to hold me back. And I feel like this guy in the background on the horse has been sent from the divine. It's this individual here. It's like you have a spirit guide helping you transition to the next timeline. I feel like this guide has always been here. This could be an ancestor for some of you, but it's like they've been on standby, waiting for you to wake up to what we've put down here so far, to have this shift in perspective. And again, I really feel that this has everything to do with the astrology right now. So you're most certainly feeling this as well, Leo. The past few weeks, you may have been feeling really tired and drained, maybe a little depressed or melancholy. It's because of this astrological transit. You're going to be feeling more revived, like you've had this big charge up of energy. I also feel like you're going to start to be flooded with ideas on how you can move. You're going to feel more motivated. It's just an overall energy of getting out there, putting yourself out there, however that shows up for you. What do we have at the throat? Oh, wow. 
death card, Scorpio energy at the throat. As soon as this came out, I thought about Pluto at 29 degrees Capricorn, which is Scorpio energy, Pluto energy right there at the throat. I feel like this is representing a transformation of the restrictions that have been holding you back. You've been feeling stuck. You've been feeling a sense of stagnation. You're moving on from this stagnation now. The transformation will now commence moving forward. But this is also telling us very clearly, Leo, that this death card, which is all about transformation, this is the phoenix rising from the ashes, death to the old, a beginning of the new. It's like it's been waiting here for you, right? I feel like this energy here can be representative of this individual on this horse, this person here. I feel a connection between all of those. It's like the transformation showed up for you, but you needed to see things from this different perspective to be able to let go and have the transformation take place in your life. And this is at this throat position. So a lot of the restriction you could have been feeling around your communication, your expression as a person, it can be an energy of feeling, again, misunderstood by the universe, feeling out of place. This was all meant to happen to prepare you. A lot of these thoughts you've been having surrounding your place inside the universe and the collective was being healed because there was a lot of wounding there, inner childhood wounding is what I'm hearing here, based off of these karmic cycles you've graduated on from. So an example of this would be, again, people telling you that you can and cannot do something, that something's not for you. And now moving forward, the divine is saying to you, hey, We've got this new timeline ready for you, but we just want to make sure that you're all healed up and ready to go so this residual energy doesn't come up for review again. Let's go ahead and take care of all of this now. A lot of you could have been consumed with a lot of memories from these past cycles, just things coming out of nowhere, flooding through, almost leaving you in a paralyzed state. It's energy of being hung up on the past, feeling like you can't move forward quite possibly finding yourself in a space where you're second-guessing your moves. This is what's being healed now, Leo. And again, you're going to start feeling much better in the days, the coming weeks. Everything's just going to completely start transforming in your life. We're coming out of all these retrogrades. Capricorn is coming out of 29 degrees Pluto. The Chinese New Year is at the beginning of February. A lot of energy is going to be there to support you moving forward. And you will find that if you can inject this get up and go into your life, it's going to feel easier than, say, a time in the past when you would have tried the same thing and felt held back. You're going to feel more lifted up. You're going to feel more pep in your step. You're going to feel supported is really what it comes down to, Leo, because you are. Because now is the time to start making moves. What do we have at the third eye, please? Knight of Pentacles at the third eye. Further reiterating what I just said, this is this energy where you are feeling kind of stuck. But now you're starting to realize that you weren't stuck at all. There was just a kind of review taking place inside your auric field. The divine was providing you with upgrades, clearing out your energy, cutting old cords, compartmentalizing any of these old memories, resolving them, and preparing you for what's to come. This is you having an understanding of this now. Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving, grinding kind of energy. So you're realizing that you weren't stuck at all, that the divine needed you moving in this very methodical manner. They had to be very thorough in how they were upgrading you. This is what this all represents with this Knight of Pentacles right there at the third eye. Third eye is all based off of how you're perceiving your reality, the belief systems that you hold yourself to. This is you understanding your place inside the universe and having the realization that nothing's been holding you back here. The divine has just been transforming you and getting you ready for this new timeline you are about to step into. What do we have at the crown, please? Five of Cups, Scorpio energy at the crown. And again, we see this other individual here with you. I feel like that's you in the background. This is representative of everything you're leaving behind. This is this energy that's been draining you. The cords have been cut. This could represent an individual, several individuals, events, things, places, 
take it as it fits. But overall, this represents everything that has been creating restriction in your life and holding you back from allowing this transformation to unfold in your life. There's also a reality shift here in the way you perceive these individuals. This has been coming up in all of the Zodiac sign readings. It makes sense. You start to have these upgrades. You start to have these awakenings, and then you just perceive your reality and everybody in it in a way that you never have before. This is exactly what this Five of Cups of the Crown is representing for you, Leo. There's a lot of hope returning into your life after a period of darkness for some of you, but restriction for most of you. No matter what you did, you just couldn't seem to find your footing. But now you're fully aware and you're looking back or you're going to be looking back over the past year, two years, and understanding that every step you've taken up until this point was absolutely necessary and it was all in a very specific divine order to allow this transformation to take place inside your life. What do we have at the foundation, please? Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy. At the foundation of the reading, further reiterating what I just said, a complete ending and a beginning. Both of these cards are about moving on. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. And this Ten of Swords is underneath this Ace of Swords. So this Ace of Swords is that get up and go that I'm ready. I see things now in a way that I've never seen them before. An energy of excitement. This is representing a whole new lease on life. Ace of Swords stacked with the Ten of Swords at the foundation of the reading. And this is at that root chakra position, the foundation, which is all related to your stability, your security, just things that you have always known. There's a complete transformation taking place in your foundation. Mentally, spiritually, physically, it's all shifting. But this time around, it's built on a different kind of foundation. It's all held up by this new connection that you are now nurturing with your higher self and the divine. There's a different standard by which you are moving now, Leo. What do we have at the sacral, please? Seven of Cups right underneath that Seven of Swords at the Sacral. Scorpio energy with the Seven of Cups, Ose. This is you overcoming the self-delusion and procrastination, no longer making up excuses and creating diversionary tactics as to why you can't transform, right? A leopard can't change their spots. This is an old, outdated belief system that you held yourself to, that you're now releasing. This is the kind of energy of somebody who always says, oh, nothing ever works out for me. See, Leo, I think you're starting to understand now that when you have that mindset, you just get more of it. Whatever you project out into the universe is exactly what the universe is going to give you in return. So if you say, nothing good ever happens for me, the universe will say to you, yeah, I know, huh? But as soon as you rewire a new mindset and you say the opposite, then the universe will start reflecting all of that to you in your reality. What do we have at the solar plexus, please? Four of Swords, Libra Energy, Simeus at the solar plexus. This is the energy you're overcoming, Leo. It's an energy of uh, burnout, feeling like everything's moving really slow. It can also be an energy of anxiety for some of you. But this whole energy here as well, I keep thinking about somebody who provides themselves to be a lamb for the slaughter or willingly walks onto the firing line. This is what you are overcoming now. This is what you're moving on from. Again, allowing yourself to be a victim based off of other individuals' treatment towards you. What do we have the heart, please? Wow, again, back to back. Simeus, Simeus. This one says physical and moral imperfection. Right there underneath that six of swords. So reiterating the message, but showing us very clearly now this is what you're moving on from. You're moving on from allowing people to make a victim out of you right at that heart chakra position. Which is emphasizing forgiveness, right? You get a blocked heart chakra when you're holding on to resentment and bitterness. And then you just move forward 
in an energy where you don't trust anybody. But this is all based off of somebody else's treatment towards you. And what I said earlier on in the reading that the realization of this is quite shocking when you start to look at it from this higher perspective. You start to look down over your life through the eyes of the universe. You see how you're moving and it's it's life changing when you can do that. You have this perspective shift. You just kind of step outside of yourself and you can see clearly what's holding you back. Then we have Seven of Swords again, knowledge of good and evil, but now we have it in its upright in this positive polarity. And it's right underneath that Six of Swords. So further reiterating that you understand now what's been going on inside your energy from a whole different perspective now. You could have been feeling restricted or stagnated for an extended period of time, but then it takes one thought, one idea, and it just seemingly pulls you out of the woods and into the sunlight, this kind of energy. And lo and behold, it's all in alignment with the astrology. You know, when you have these major transformations in your life, Leo, and you look back over them, and then you look at the astrological transits for that time in your life, it's very profound. It gives you a completely different view on how life works. It's like everything is just so perfect. Everything happens in this divine order. You're just finally having a different view of these struggles you had in your life. What do we have at the throat, please? Wow. There it is. The tower. Aries, Scorpio, Mars energy right underneath that death card at the throat. Very powerful energy here. A lot of power, a lot of transformation. But this is also representing... What I was saying about you having this perspective shift over your life, right? Looking at your life through the eyes of the universe, and then it's like you just have this one idea. You see something differently, which can be seen as that little note or scroll in your hand here. And then it's like, see that smirk on your face? That's you. You're like, oh my God, I'm ready to rock. And this is connecting me to this Ace of Swords. So we've gone full circle. We've navigated through this story of what some of you may have dealt with. And now we've gone back to the very beginning. And we're seeing now what it is that got you to get up with this whole new lease on life and start charging forward. The Tower, Uriel, the Fire of God. Disruption warns of disasters, aids, and transformation. So the idea, the memo, is what allows you to transform death card at the throat. What do we have at the third eye, please? Wow, the moon, Gabriel, Pisces energy. God is my strength. Divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. <sighs> Just followed what I said. You receive the message. It has the power to destroy any of the blocks in your life, which allows you to transform. And seemingly... This has always been there. It's just been hidden from you. You haven't been able to have a particular kind of perspective to be able to see this. Everything is coming together as we near the end of this reading. What do we have at the crown, please? Six of Swords again to close out the reading. Six of Swords twice. Seven of Swords twice. Four of Swords, twice. Leo, you're being asked to release any sort of fear of the unknown right now. The Divine has opened up this passage forward for you with this Six of Swords at the crown. But you need to trust that the universe has your back. You just need to give up your control of what's going to happen next and start going with the flow in the knowing that the Divine is with you. You're being asked right now to stop fearing the future and begin to face it with faith. Everything is happening in a perfect design. Leo, this is the message I have available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, you can find all of my contact details in the description below this video. And thank you for your donations, Leo. Take care.